Hey everyone, Dino Monoxalis here with you. Okay, so this clip is for all you SVT CL users out there. Have you ever wondered what the set of bias lights on the back of your CL are used for? Well, stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how to rebias your SVT CL. Okay, so we're looking at the back of the SVT CL here. Now, before we get to actually biasing the amp, there's a couple of very important things that I should note and you guys should know. Number one, and most importantly, do not fire up your SVT without it being connected to a speaker load. That's the most important thing. If you attempt to run your SVT without it being connected to a two or a four ohm speaker load, you run the risk of blowing the output transformer. And that gets really expensive. So most importantly, always make sure it's connected to a speaker cabinet. Number two, always make sure that the amp has been warming up for at least 20 minutes, meaning powered up and off of standby as if you were playing a gig for about 20 minutes. Uh, that way there you can ensure that the tubes are up to operating temperature and you'll get the proper biasing adjustments as needed. Quick explanation on what biasing is. Basically biasing is adjusting the amount of voltage going to your power tubes. So it's very important that you get the right bias adjustment so that you're getting the most performance out of your amplifier without overburdening the tubes or underburdening the tubes for that matter. So let's get started. So to bias the amp, basically all you need is a small flat screwdriver is really all you need. Um, you can use a guitar pick, you can use a small coin, you can also use your thumbnail if you're in a pinch and it's just a matter of getting into these small uh, set screws and turning them. So if you notice there's two bias controls on the back, bias one and bias two meaning there's two sides of the power amp in this amplifier. It's not a stereo power amp, it just means that there's two sides of the power section. So we're gonna control, we're gonna adjust bias control one, and I'm gonna do it two different ways. Bias control one, I'm gonna over bias, and watch what happens. The red LED comes on, the amp starts humming because it's out of balance. So I'm basically just gonna roll it off until that red LED goes out, and I know the amp is in bias. Now bias two, I'm gonna do just the opposite. I'm gonna under bias the amp and watch what happens. It starts humming again when the green LED goes out, okay? So now I'm just gonna roll it back up until the green LED comes on, then the red LED comes on, and then I'm gonna back it off just until the red LED goes out again, and I know both sides of the amp are properly biased, and I'm good to go. How often should you bias your amp? I typically bias it every time I'm back there setting up. It takes just as long to bias an amp as it does to set your EQ section and your gain structure. So it's not that big of a deal to go back and bias. You saw how long it took. It took all of about 10 seconds. Uh, typically though, you should rebias your amp every time you change out the power tubes and the driver tubes. And I usually recommend changing the driver tubes when you do change the power tubes. That way there, it's just another step to ensure that you're getting the most performance out of your amplifier. So there you have it, guys. I hope this gives you a little insight on taking care of your SVT. As always, play more bass.